Hi, welcome to Your Energizing Flow. I'm Jenny Contos, and um, I wanted to address something that comes up for me a lot um, whenever I'm teaching is sometimes students will have to leave um, right before Shavasana or during Shavasana. And though I believe Shavasana is the best part, I also believe that if you only have 45 or 30 minutes to get your yoga practice in, come to class, get your yoga practice in, take a Shavasana at a later time, or maybe sit down and do a, a meditation or add a few more minutes onto your meditation later. Um, because it's so easy for us to guilt ourselves and feel bad and apologize for things that, I mean, we really shouldn't be sorry for. We're busy human beings. We have things that are going on in our life. And in the midst of all of those things, we also need to take care of ourselves because, um, the way that we take care of ourselves is how we're going to take care of everything else. So this is going to be a shorter practice. Um, don't feel bad if you ha if you are taking a short class today, or if you have to skip shavasana at a different class. Make sure that you're taking care of you, so that you can take around take care of all the things around you. So with that being said, today we're going to go ahead and get started in our downward facing dog. So come forward. Plant your hands and make sure your index fingers are pointing directly forward, your thumbs point in. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing the butt. And so I like to create movement at the beginning of my practice, so if movement's something you want to create, start to create movement. If stillness is something that you need, some of us move quite frequently and need stillness, find stillness. If downward facing dog is in the shape you want to start your practice in, then find child's pose and know that that's okay. Start to breathe consciously with awareness. Breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. And our breath is a great tool. It's a great guide. And when we are 100% focused on our breath, there is no way that we can be focused on anything else. And since this is a shorter practice, breathing like our life depends on it, but also using it as a tool to stay completely present And then finding some stillness in our downward facing dog. Look towards your hands and lift your heels really, really high. And tiptoe your feet forward to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward fold. Inhale to a flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, hands to shins, thighs or floor. Exhale, bend your knees and fold forward. Rise it all the way up, stretch your arms up to the sky, gaze to the thumbs. We call this Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, fold forward through Namaste and hinge at your hips. Inhale, find a flat back and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step left leg all the way back. Inhale, your right leg back to plank pose and pause here. If you need to drop your knees, drop your knees. Press down with your hands, lift the space between your shoulder blades, lift the pubic bone towards your navel. And take another big inhalation, getting strong in the back body. Exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Drop the knees if you need to. Cobra, deep breath in. Lift your chest, shoulders back and down. Exhale, lower the heart down and forward. Inhale, up and back to a child's pose. Sit your hips back towards your heels. And on an exhale, walk your hands back towards your knees. Press down through your shins. Rise up nice and tall in your shin bones. Reach your arms up towards the sky. Cactus out your arms on your exhale, lift your chest. Stay here for your inhale, roll the shoulders back and down. Exhale, drink, bring your forearms together, sit your hips to your heels and round in. Inhale, rise up back onto the shins, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, cactus out the arms, pull the lowest belly in and stay here for your inhalation. Exhale, your forearms together, sit your hips down towards your heels, rounding in. Inhale, lifting up, shoulders roll back, lift the chest. Exhale, cactus out the arms, draw the shoulder blades together. Stay here for an inhale. And exhale, bring your forearms together, round and tuck your chin and toward your chest. Inhale, press down through the shins, reach your arms back up to the sky, deep inhale. Downward facing dog as your exhale, hands come down, toes tuck and hips lift. Lift your right leg up to the sky, deep breath in. 
Bend the right knee, open up your hip without collapsing in your low back. Inhale, re-extend right leg up, point your hip bone down. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and round your upper back. Inhale, right leg lifts up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, press the floor away with your hands. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. And exhale, bring your knee to your nose and step your right foot all the way forward. Keep your left hand down to the ground, reach your right arm up towards the sky for a revolve side angle. Exhale, lower your right hand down to the ground, frame your right foot. Step your left foot forward, find a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and fold in. Inhale, rise up. Reach the arms up and over your head, stretch the spine. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana, leading with the heart, hinge at your hips. Half lift, hands to shins, thighs are floor. Exhale, plant your hands, step right leg all the way back. Plank pose is your inhale, left foot steps back to meet your right. Exhale, lowers you down to the earth, drop the knees if you need. Inhale to cobra, breathe deep, this might be the deepest you get to breathe today. Exhale, lower the heart down and forward. Inhale, press up and back to child's pose. Walk your hands back to your knees on your exhale. Bring your right hand to your low back. Lift up off your heels. Sweep that left bicep along your ear. Exhale, cross your left arm in front of you. Hips to heels, left hand to low back. Right arm up and over on a big inhale. Exhale, hips soup to the heels. Right arm sweeps in front. Hand to hip, left arm lengthens. Exhale, cross the left arm in front of you. Swoop it over to that left hip and reach that right arm up and over. One more each side. Right arm crosses, right hand to the hip, left arm lifts up. Exhale, cross it over, left hand to the hip, right bicep alongside the ear. Downward facing dog as your exhale, sweep those arms forward and lift your hips up towards the sky. Left leg up, deep breath in. Bend the left knee, open up your hip. Inhale, re-extend left toes up, hip bone down. Exhale, knee to your nose, round, round, round. Inhale, take your left leg up and back. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose, press the earth away. Inhale, lift the left leg back high. And exhale, knee to your nose, rocking to the tips of those right toes. Step your left foot forward. Keep your right hand down, left arm lifts up, deep breath in. And exhale, lower your left hand down to the ground, frame your left foot. Right foot forward, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold in, soften the head towards the earth. Rise up, big inhale, Urdhva Hastasana, get as tall as you can. Exhale, fold you forward, Uttanasana. Inhaling, flat back, lengthen. Exhale, step left leg all the way back. Plank pose, step right leg back to meet your left. Exhale, chaturanga, 90 degree angle in your arms or come down to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Right leg extends up and back, deep breath. Exhale, step your right foot forward between your hands. Step your left foot forward, find a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold in, soften the knees. Rise up, big inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold you down, leading with your heart. Inhale, flat back and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, right leg steps back, building that rhythm. Inhale, left leg steps back to meet your right. Exhale, chaturanga, we're down to the belly. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up and back. Use your exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands. Right foot forward, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold and bow, Uttanasana. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit your hips down low, reach your arms up, pause. If you have any injuries to your knees or low back, separate your feet and knees hip-bone-width apart. 
Squeeze your outer hips towards one another, lift your chest away from your thighs and stretch up. On your exhale, keep that length of your spine, just rest your ribs on top of your thighs and reach your arms forward. Bring your gaze down, lift your biceps alongside of your ears. Deep breath in, notice if you're gripping down with your toes, let them spread all 10 toes and deep breath out. Inhale, reach your arms to the back of the room, turn your palms in towards one another, lift the pinky edges of your hands. I like to imagine a beach ball between my hands, so lift that beach ball as far away from your low back as possible. Stay here for another inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Forward fold as your exhale, hands down, hips up. Half lift, big breath in through your nose. Exhale, plant your hands. You can step or float it back. Move through vinyasa. Skip it if you'd like to. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up to the sky, deep inhalation. Step right foot all the way forward between your hands, then the left heel flat, warrior one. Big inhale, rising all the way to the top. Settle into this posture on your exhale. Square off hips and shoulders, big breath in. And find some softness on that exhale. Another big breath, tongue away from the roof of your mouth. And exhale, hands down, frame your right foot. Standing split, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Maybe take your right hand to that right hip crease and guide your right hip bone back away from the ribs. Maybe look back at your left toes and turn those left toes directly down to the ground. Stay here for another big breath in, lift that left heel up. Exhale, standing forward, fold left foot down to meet your right. Chair pose, Utkatasana, feet hip bone with the part if you need. Exhale, ribs to the thighs, reach your arms forward, a little familiar. Inhale, sweep your arms back, lift your palms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Half lift, big breath, fingertips to the floor, shins or thighs. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left leg all the way back. Left heel spins all the way flat. Come up for warrior two on a big inhale. Stretch your fingertips away from one another. Use your left inner thigh to press the outside of that left foot down. Lift up through your wrists and soften through your shoulders. Inhale, reach your fingertips forward. Reach, 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 reach. Extend and side angle is your exhale. So your right forearm can come to the top of your thigh or to the inside of your shin. The low back stays as long as possible. Lift up through left fingertips, left ribs, and rotate your heart open on your exhale. Reverse warrior, left hand slides behind you, right bicep along your ear. Stay here for your exhale, keep that depth in the right leg. Take another big length thin through that right side of the body, I have no clue what I just said there. And exhale, cart with your hands down to the earth. Step back, plank pose, pause here, feet hip bone width apart. Take your heels up and over to the left, but keep both hands down on the ground. Inhale, bring your heels back to center. Exhale, drop your heels up and over to the right. Inhale, bring your heels back to center. Exhale, drop your heels to the left. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, heels to the right. If this is too much, hold plank pose of your choice. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, those heels drop to the left. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, heels to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale, bring those front ribs in. And exhale, melt your chest towards your thighs. Inhale, lift your left leg up towards the sky, deep breath. Exhale, step your left foot all the way forward. Spin the right heel flat. Warrior one, deep inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky. And stay for your exhale, press the pinky edge of that back foot down. Reach up through the fingertips, big breath in. Soften through the shoulders, deep breath out. One more inhalation, squeezing muscle to the bone. 
Exhale, lower your hands down to the ground, frame your left foot. Standing split, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Getting that hip as square as possible, maybe take your left hand to your left hip crease and guide your left hip bone back and away from the ribs. You might feel something juicy happen back there. And when you're ready, take that left hand back down to the ground. Take another big inhalation. Use your right leg as a team, calf, hamstring, and glute to lift that foot. Exhale, standing forward fold. Step your right foot down to meet your left. Chair pose, Utkatasana, feet hip bone width apart or toes touching. Exhale, ribs to your thighs, reach your arms forward. Inhale, reach your arms to the back, turn your palms up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, right leg steps all the way back. Warrior two, spin the right heel all the way flat, left toes are at 12, and right toes are going to be more at 3 o'clock. Stay for the exhale and settle into the posture. Strengthen and lengthen on your inhale. Soften on your exhale. Reach your left fingertips forward, reach, 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 reach. Extended side angle, bring your left forearm either to the top of your thigh or to the inside of your shin. Deep breath, find as much length in that right side body as possible. And deep breath out. Inhale, rotate that heart open. And stay for your exhalation. Reverse warrior, your right hand slides behind you. Take your left bicep along your ear. Staying for the exhale, roll those shoulders back and down. Take a massive in-breath with that left side of your body. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the ground. Step back, plank pose, and pause. Feet hip bone width apart. Exhale, your heels up and over to the right. This time, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Vashi stas in a side plank pose, but our feet are going to be unstaggered. Lift your bottom hip into your top. And take another big breath. Lift your chin away from your chest. Lower your left hand down to the ground. Take your heels up and over to your left. Lift your right arm up towards the sky, Vashisthasana. Keeping that right hip bone pointing forward, pressing that left hand down and forward. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Stay for another inhale, broaden through your collarbones. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Right hand comes down, elbows will bend. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale. Downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. I often say that this posture is just like pressing the reset button. And every time we come back here is a great opportunity to breathe deeper than we did the time before. Look forward, lift your heels. Bend your knees, walk step or float to the front of your mat. Landing as soft as you can. Half lift, big breath. Fold forward and exhale, separate your feet hip width apart. Take a wide chair, bend your knees, lift your chest. Exhale, bring your ribs to your thighs, reach those arms forward. Now if you have injuries to the knees, keep your heels down. If not, sweep the arms back, lift your heels up off the earth on an inhale. Keep your heels lifted, reach those arms forward on an exhale. Inhale, lift your ribs away from your thighs, find that big utkatasana, lowest belly in. Heels down, hands down, fold forward. Half lift, big inhalation, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float it back. Move through vinyasa, skip it if you need to. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up to the sky, deep inhalation. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Swing your left heel flat. Warrior one, deep breath in through your nose. Bring your palms to touch and exhale your hands to your heart center. Inhale, arms reach back up to the sky, lengthen. Exhale, cleansing breath, arms sweep back. Inhale, warrior one, reach both arms up, palms touch. Hands to heart center, bring the front ribs in. Inhale, sweep your arms back up to the sky. Cleansing breath, arms sweep back. <sighs> Inhale, Virabhadrasana A, warrior one. Palms touch, exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, warrior one, keep that back leg super strong. Exhale, cleansing breath, arms sweep back. <sighs> Inhale, warrior one, reach both arms high. 
Lower your hands down to the ground, frame your foot. Standing split, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Keep your left leg as straight as you can. Tap your left toes to your right heel for five. Lift your left leg back up on an inhale, right hip is squeezing back. Exhale, tap your toes to your heel for two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale for three. Inhale, lift. Exhale for four, using that leg as a team. Inhale, lift. Last one, tap those toes for five. Press into your hands, standing split, deep breath in. Standing forward, fold feet hip bone width apart. Here's that wide chair. Sit your hips down low, reach your arms up towards the sky. Ribs to thighs and reach your arms forward. Heels lift, arms sweep back unless you have injuries to the knees. Exhale, reach those arms back forward, but don't drop those heels. Inhale, peel your chest away from your thighs, lift up through the crown of your head, strengthen those ankles. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Half lift, big breath in. Exhale, step left leg all the way back. Warrior two is your inhale, left heel all the way flat. Hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Lift your chest, lift the crown of your head. Exhale, bow to the inside of your right thigh, devotional warrior. Inhale, reverse warrior, slide that left hand behind you, right bicep along your ear. Exhale, cart with your hands down to the ground. Side plank pose, roll to the outside edge of your left foot, stack your right heel on top. Stay for your exhale, find depth in that left side. Inhale, lengthen on the right side. Bring your right forearm down to the ground on your exhale, elbow underneath your shoulder. Take your heels up and over to the right. Lift your left arm up towards the sky, forearm side plank. Same work with the hips, use your obliques, keep that left hip on forward. Press that right forearm down and forward to lift those right ribs. Take another big inhale. Left hand's gonna go back down to the ground, just forward of the shoulder. So the left hand is down, take your heels to the left, lift your right arm back up to the sky, side plank pose. Exhale, chaturanga to thus, and that right hand comes down, bend those elbows. Inhale, upward dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep breath in. And deep breath out, breathing deeper now than we did the time before. Feeling our heartbeat, feeling the sensation of warmth and blood pumping through our body. Left leg lifts up and back, deep breath in. Exhale, step your left foot forward between your hands, right heel flat, warrior one, deep breath in, root down and bring your palms together at the top. Exhale, your hands to your heart center, knit your front ribs in. Inhale, swoop down, reach your arms up towards the sky. Cleansing breath, arms sweep back. Warrior one, deep inhale, palms touch. Exhale, hands to heart, front ribs knit in. Inhale, warrior one, arms sweep down and up. Cleansing breath, arms sweep back. Inhale, warrior one, deep breath. Hands to your heart one more round. I like to do things in threes. Sweep down, reach up, big breath. Exhale, cleansing breath, arms sweep back. Warrior one, deep inhale, arms reach up, fingers spread wide. Exhale, lower your hands down to the earth, frame your left foot. Standing split, lift your right leg up, keep that leg super straight and strong. Exhale, tap your right toes to the left heel. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, tap down for four. Inhale, lift your right heel. Exhale for three. Keep those toes pointing down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale for two. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, last one. Tap the toes to the heel. Inhale, lift that right heel up. Exhale, step your right foot hip bone width apart from your left. Chair pose with feet hip width apart, hips down low, arms reach high, ribs to thighs on your exhale, reach the arms forward. Lift the heels, sweep the arms back deep, breath in. Reach your arms forward on your exhalation, keep those heels lifted if you can. Inhale, peel the ribs away from your thighs, try to sit those hips back and down. 
Exhale, heels down, hands down, and fold. Half lift, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, step right leg all the way back. Right heel flat, warrior two, deep breath in. Hands behind the back, interlace your fingers. Lift your chest, tailbone south, knuckles south. Exhale, bow to the inside of your left thigh. Inhale, reverse warrior, right hand slides behind you, left bicep along your ear. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the earth, right hand firm to the ground, side plank pose, roll to the outside edge of your right heel, stack your left heel on top. Deep breath in, think that right arm like a kickstand for a bite, press it down and forward and get that hip away from the earth. And bring your chin away from your chest on your exhale. Take another full breath, prepare to bring that left forearm down. So with control, squeeze your inner thighs, roll to the ball mounds of those feet, Left forearm down, elbow underneath your shoulder. Take your heels to the left. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Bring your ears back. Open up your chest. Keep the pubic bone lifting. And try to get the inside edge of that left foot pressing down to the ground. Take another big inhale. Wave your right hand so you know what's planning down. Right hand down to the earth, just forward of the shoulder. Take your heels up and over to the right. Lift your left arm up. Vashisthasana, side plank pose. Exhale, Chaturanga Basana. Left hand down, bend those elbows. Inhale, Upward Dog or Cobra. And exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Inhale and exhale. One more full breath here. And full breath out. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand and drop your left knee down to the ground. So, option to stay on your hands. Option two, bring your left forearm down to the ground so that your elbow is underneath your shoulder. Roll to the outside of your right foot without dumping into that ankle. Bring your right hand to your right thigh bone, press your thigh bone away, and try to step your shoulders. You have the option to stay here. Option two, bend that left knee. Reach back with your right hand and catch your foot for a quad stretch. Rolling your shoulders back. And finding that space beyond the limbs, beyond the body, and expanding into that space. And take another big inhalation. And if you have that back foot, slowly release it. Bring your right arm all the way up and over, hand underneath your shoulder. Bring your left hand underneath your shoulder, tuck the back toes, pick up your back knee, three leg dot, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, step right foot all the way forward between your hands. Warrior one, left heel flat, reach both arms high. Cactus out your arms on an exhale. Bring your left forearm underneath your right, Hook your forearms and hands. If the eagle arms are too much, bring your forearms together. Lift your elbows, take your forearms forward. Eagle pose. Cross left leg on as high up onto that right thigh as possible. You can keep your knees pointing forward. And if wrapping the toes does not feel good for your hip flexors or your low back, then don't wrap the toes or even your knee, rather. Lift your elbows up, take your forearms forward and pull those front ribs in. Take another big breath in through your nose. And stay for the exhale. Warrior three is your inhale. Sweep your left leg all the way back. Maybe you reach those arms to the back of the room. Squeeze your right hip back. Keep lifting up through the crown of your head. Shoulders in line with your hips. Deep breath in. And deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. Crescent warrior, step your left toes all the way back. Take the ball of your left foot to the ground. Reach both arms up towards the sky. Bring your hands behind the back. Grab opposite forearms. Use your forearms like a seatbelt for your low back. Step the pubic bone up. Straighten your right leg. Squeeze your right hip back. Fold over your right thigh. So think pyramid pose, but with a nice bind of your arms. And if the bind of your arms is too much, bring your hands down to the ground and frame your right foot. 
deep inhale and deep exhale. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Look at your right big toe on your inhale and release your hands down to the ground. Frame your right foot on your exhale. Take a quarter turn to your left for a wide-legged forward fold. Turn your toes in, your heels out, and fold in. Lift your kneecaps, tone your quads. Pull your navel in and up, and then imagine you're going between your stomach and your thighs, and your hands can go behind your calves if you'd like to. Your peace fingers can wrap around your big toes. We're just here for another few breaths. Welcoming the essence of inversions. In fact, this is one, meaning our head is below our heart. Wherever you are, walk your hands forward, find a flat back, and listen carefully. Walk your hands to the inside of your left foot. So turn to the back of your mat, pivot your right heel up, and drop your right knee down to the ground. Lower your right forearm down to the earth, elbow underneath your shoulder. Roll to the outside edge of your left foot for lizard lunge. And so be mindful not to dump on that left ankle. Bring your left hand to your left thigh. Put your thigh bone away. Lift your chin away from your chest. Option to stay here or bend your right knee. Reach back with your left hand and catch your foot. You can lift your hip to your heel if that feels good for you right now today. Allowing my hips to sink down to the earth feels really nice. So find what works for you. My practice might look totally different than yours. My practice will absolutely feel totally different than yours. And vice versa. First, vice versa, your practice will be different than mine. Yoga means something different to everybody. So find what means something to you for the short time that we have together. Making things meaningful. You have your back foot slowly release it. Bring your left hand underneath your shoulder. Bring your right hand underneath your shoulder. Tuck your back toes, pick up your back knee. Down dog kick, lift your left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your nose and step left foot forward between your hands. Spin the right heel flat, warrior one, deep inhale. Cactus out your arms, spread the fingers super wide. Bring your right elbow underneath your left, hook your forearms, hook your hands. Inhale, lift your chest, and exhale, eagle pose. Cross your right leg as far up onto that left thigh as possible. Keep that right hip squeezing back. Keep the left elbows, or the elbows lifting, the forearms forward. Deep breath in, and deep breath out. Inhale, squeeze inner thighs, and exhale, sit down a little lower. Warrior three, gracefully unravel your arms, sweep that right leg back. It's okay if those toes have to touch the floor. And stay here for your exhale. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more big breath. Stay for your exhale. Stretch those toes away from the fingertips. Crescent warrior, bend your left knee. Dig the ball of your right foot to the earth. Reach both arms up to the sky for just a moment. Hands behind the back. Grab opposite forearms. Maybe take the opposite forearm on top. Straighten your left leg and squeeze that left hip back. Fold over your left thigh on your exhale. Turning those right ribs more to the inside of your left thigh. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Make sure you bring your hands to the ground if that's what your body is communicating for you to do. And always remember that things happen as they should and unravel as they should. And every single day, our body is totally different. Take one more big breath in. Look at the left big toe. And exhale, release your hands down to frame your left foot. Wide-legged forward fold on an inhalation, so quarter turn to the right, and exhale, fold and melt your heart. If you want to take headstand here, you have the opportunity to take Shirshasana. Just walk your hands back, stack your elbows on top of your wrists, roll your shoulders back, and plug them in. 
So 20% of the weight is in the head. Press down through your hands so much that the feet start to lift off the earth. Squeeze in our thighs as those legs come up. Squeeze those heels together. We're here for three. Breathe in. Breathe out for two. Inhale. And slowly lower down on that exhale. Nice and slow. Find a flat back on the inhale. Walk your hands to frame your right foot on the exhale. Step back, plank pose, big breath in. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows squeeze in. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Deep inhale. And deep exhale. Deep breath in and deep breath out. Lift your left leg up to the sky, big breath. Step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Turn your toes out. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Turn your toes out. Heels in, Malasana. Sink your hips between your heels. Bring your hands to your heart center. Lift your sternum to your thumbs. Big breath in through your nose, and big breath out through your nose. Press your arms into the legs, lift the crown of your head a little bit more on a deep breath in. Standing forward fold, take your hands down and heel to those feet together, or hip bone width apart. Lift your heels, bend your knees, and have a seat for toe stand. So bring your hands on tops of your thighs and press your thigh bones down. Keep Lifting up to the crown of your head. And roll your shoulders back and down. And the option to stay here, option to drop those knees down in front of you. Option to walk those fingertips back. Your index fingers point towards your bum, your thumbs point in. Roll your shoulders back, puff up your chest. And bring your ears back without throwing your head back so that way we're strengthening our neck and not um, compressing our cervical spine. Deep inhale through your nose. And deep breath out through your nose. Take one more big breath here. And if you can't to your fingertips, bring one hand to the top of your thigh, followed by the other hand. Take your feet out to one side, have a seat on the floor. Bring those legs out in front of you, and keep your knees bent, soles of the feet down. Slowly come onto your backs for a final twist. Practicing out your arms, press your feet down, lift your hips up and over to the right, and let your knees fall to the left. Resisting the urge to think about those to-do lists or all of those things that are happening in life and getting these next few minutes of our practice the permission to nurture us and bring those knees back to center shift your hips up and over to the left side of your mat and let your knees fall to the right baby pose, let your knees open up wider than your shoulders, reach up, grab the outer edges of your feet, and rock from side to side. Then take a deep breath in through your nose, and deep breath out. Final resting pose, Shavasana, extend one leg down, followed by the other, allow your feet to open up naturally, and your palms rest up to the sky. And stay here as long as you need. Allowing the brain to fall to the back of your skull. 
and your tongue will fall to the back of your throat. And your breath carry you to that place of restful awareness.